Donkey Kong's so good in singles. Yeah, like, he's so much better in singles that he's not bad in doubles, right. but he's not better in a doubles. Right, exactly. What's this guy's shirt say? Does it say something wrong? Uh, oh, boy. I can't read it. All right, All right Donkey. It's oh, it's DK versus... Every time I see a DK, I get excited. DK is one of my favorite yeah. characters. Oh, it's Matt Beach. I know Matt Beach. I'm just so terrible with faces. <laughs> well, they're sitting that way. So I was like, you know. Uh oh. So yeah, Mewtwo, of course, going to be looking for that down tilt. And then Shadow Ball just kind of pressures your opponent to do something. If you get the damage, it's great. But the goal of the projectile isn't even to hit. It's, yeah, it's time. mostly to instill fear in your opponent. Or to cover an option, right? Option coverage is, is huge. So yeah. they either get hit or you can just cover more options. I wonder what percent Ding Dong kills Mewtwo at. Uh, probably really probably low. Like I'd be scared at 60. 60. Yeah. So, Rich Brown. Rich and Brown. I, I love these kind of matchups because it shows how safe. Like, Rich Brown doesn't even want to come close to 60, right? No, yeah. Donkey Kong is terrifying. Donkey Kong, heavies in general, but Donkey Kong in particular, not fun to fight. I mean, you might bop him in the neutral. But they have to win neutral less often than you do. So much less often, in fact, yeah. Even against Mewtwo, Mewtwo hits hard. Mewtwo's punish game is really good. He's already got him to 141. Um, whoop. Did that but just again, miss? Did you see that? Yeah, it did, apparently. Did that just Roy zone him? Oh! That could be a stock. Yeah, yeah he's dead. Bro. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Uh -huh. okay. I died on myself for a minute there. Yeah, we didn't see the sparks, and I was, like, really confused, but the percent was so high, it didn't like, matter. I thought he was going to run up up smash. But I was wrong. Get the trip. Actually gonna All right, be able and to the next damage. grab might kill him. Yeah, I'm curious to see exactly what, what he'll, he'll do with the next grab. We'll have to see. He's not going to... He's checking on Rage. Whoa, oh, never dead? mind. Woo! Okay, he was looking for the air dodge there. Mad Beach typically doesn't fall to stuff like that. No, it's just typically jumping away. Especially with Donkey Kong, you have to know how to use your jump. Because once you expend it, it's like, how do you land? Yeah, up B is super exploitable, especially when you have something like Mewtwo's Dare. Or even any of his other aerials, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Though they are high committal, and it can help you land a little bit. Yeah. I don't oh. know if Ding Dong will work anymore. Yeah, with, with this rage, with and this I think Mewtwo's too high, and like, you know. Which means, this is always a difficult part for DK. DK has decent kill moves, but they're slow. The only nice. fast kill move he has is, is Bear, and up tilt, but he's not at that percent yet. Yeah, you have to be pretty high for up tilt, but back where, back where will either send off stage or kill at this point in time. Uh, throw he's not going to be able to make it that far. Nope. Up throw going to clear out the game. Rich Brown taking his purple Gatorade. Chugging a little bit. Gotta get those electrolytes. Mm -hmm. Get the electrolytes. I think, uh, I think Matt Beach needs one of those. Uh oh. Did he use Diddy? Yeah, Diddy, Diddy was like, I saw you slay my father. So I don't even know what characters he plays anymore. Because when I first saw Matt Beach here in Chicago, he was playing Pac Man and he was doing some really hype stuff. And I wish he would have gone Pac Man. Neither of these characters are, uh, are Pac Man. No, they are. Though Diddy Kong does have an item, so any any Pac-Man player would know how to use every item. Yeah. Or like, you know, just items in general. New two mains what? are typically not fans of this matchup. Most characters aren't. But uh, <laughs> yeah, new right. two names especially. Not fun for them. Uh, so Diddy Kong, of course, the grab monster. And uh, the forward air to basically keep your opponent honest, right? You don't want him just keep jumping to avoid the grab. You want to keep him honest using the forward air. Diddy Kong plays relatively fair. Uh, Similarly to DK, I um, mean that you want to get the grab and you want to space your bears and fairs. Right. Not DK fairs, but DK bears. <laughs> um, the, the only difference is that Diddy Kong doesn't kill like Donkey Kong does. However, like the previous analogy we said, he has a much easier time winning neutral. Yep, yep. And uh, against Mewtwo, that's going to be a great tool. Reading the air dodge there from Rich Brown. And you're getting the trip. Only a jab? Hello? Rich Brown is playing really, really defensively, which I feel like you have to against Diddy Kong when you're Mewtwo, and that is. And we've, we've seen him charge his Shadow Ball doing like wave bounces, gear reverses, and all this kind of stuff to kind of space himself out to be that much safer. Using every single tool in the book. Trying to get the up tilt. Didn't do it quite early enough. You gotta be really fast with the up tilt uh, once, you get, once you get the trip. You have to like basically walk at him. <laughs> I love that mix up. Rich John's a silly guy because because he just stood there for yeah. five minutes. And then every time uh, Kitaro mentioned this at, 
don't remember the tournament, but Keitaro mentioned it, and I was like, you know, I noticed that too. He always up smashes after respawning. <laughs> oh boy, we'll have to see it on respawn for sure. But then, um. Oh, there's the. Just, just All right, let's see if he does it. Let's see if he does it. Yeah, he called it, man. That's great. I love that. Um, uh, he also does that crouch walk every time he gets a kill. He gets a He's just a silly guy. Let's see how many he can get between the stocks. I'm, I'm gonna bet six. Six? I'm gonna I'm gonna give you five. Oh, not quite with the up throw. Yeah, the thing is with the up throw, a lot of people think it kills a lot earlier than it really does. The thing is, rage uh, factors in a lot with it. Yeah, most not only that, but it's just not as strong as most people think. This next one will oh, kill. Oh, However, oh. Shadow Ball will kill earlier. Oh, he did zero crouch walks. I'm mad. Uh, yeah, I'm mad too. Oh, come on, man. Rich Brown, you gotta step it up. Step it up, man. Step it up. Where's your swag game? You gotta, you gotta style on him. Ooh, get him. Ooh. But Matt Beach trying to land on stage, reading the monkey flip though with the back air. We're using that tail. I know Diddy Kong wants to catch some tail, but it's not the kind of you exactly want to get smacked by Mewtwo's. Usually not. Diddy Kong wants those jabs. Yeah. It's probably actually one of the worst jabs in the game. <laughs> Maybe yes, not worse, but it's not great. No, it's not like a. It's not a. It's not like a right. fox jab like or, or, or a Mario right. jab. Right, exactly for sure. But either Typically, way, if you, places you'd use jab, you just use down tilt. Yeah, you know. So, so Rich Brown was able to get a little bit of a lead. It's not massive, but That's, that comes back to these two punish game. It's so strong. It does so much damage, and you just keep your opponent at disadvantage over and over. And a player like Rich Brown is going to read these monkey flips and be able to cover him in the position that he's always in. And most of this game. If not all of this game, was Rich forcing uh, Matt Beach to approach. That's yeah, we've seen, the majority of this game. We've hardly seen Rich. And right, right there, Rich Brown did approach, but he got punished for it. So that actually is going to condition him to not approach even more. Mewtwo doesn't have great approach options against Diddy. Absolutely. Yeah, no. Because Mewtwo really loves down tilt, and that's really stuffed out Ooh, by Diddy. Throw. Yeah. Rich Brown's going to take it and take the set. Good job to him, but actually good, good job to Matt Beach, you know, showing the Diddy Kong. He had the stock lead for a little bit, and then Rich Brown just basically adapted from there. Yeah. That's really an advantage of defensive play, which it was entirely what Rich Brown was doing, was uh, when you play so defensive, you 